What's up everybody, this is General Spear here, welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 The Galactic Empire. How y'all doing today? I hope you're all having a good afternoon, good morning, good, morning, good evening, and I hope all your lovely faces have enjoyed Rogue One. For those of you who have seen it, don't, don't give away anything, but I hope for those who, that have seen it or are going to see it, I hope you have either enjoyed it or will enjoy it at some point. So we are back with another episode here. And um, I'm going to be releasing an update video at some point this week as to how the rest of the uh, the year is going to play out as far as what's going to be uh, done in terms of videos and also what's to be expected for the beginning of the upcoming, uh, upcoming year. So um, that'll be released at some point this week. I'm not going to say much more about that, but just letting you know that there will be an update on videos and whatnot and all that stuff. So... Um, we have a mission to attend to, the Gorilla Ops mission, which unfortunately, much to my own disappointment, <laughs> encounters the event of the, uh, uh, the hidden, hidden faceless aliens and whatnot, which is rather unfortunate. I didn't really want that to ha you know, to be countered, uh, but it is 110 intel, it is moderate difficulty, so... I guess we'll Shining go with it. For East Asia. I really did not want this to happen. Really did not. But, um, I think what we're going to do, it is a moderate difficulty mission, so we gotta be a little bit careful. Um, but I wanna get some squ more squaddies in here, and I think I'm going to bring in... I think I'm gonna bring in Mary Jade Sky uh, Mary Jade. Mary Jade Skywalker, but Mary Jade, there's a difference in this case. Um, we're going to bring in... I think... Paulo George. Paulo George, we have not played with him in a while. Let's go with Judy, Judy Perkins, one of our uh, commando units. Um, let's... Go with let's go with Sean Rome. I feel like that that should I feel like that should be a fun uh, fun idea. And then I kind of want to bring in. Uh, who do I bring in? Do I bring in Vader? Yeah, I'll bring in Vader again. Might as well. We'll let, we'll let uh, Mary Jade take the lead this time, but we'll bring in Vader. Kind of just as, you know, added backup, given that this is a moderate difficulty mission. Uh, but we're to recover an item from the Advent Vehicle, Operation Forgotten Dream. Sounds like a fun thing. We're all set to go, it looks like. We got Gauss weapons here, we got magnetic weapons. Let's go. Not upgraded lightsabers just yet, but you know what? It'll be okay. It will be fine. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Alright, here we go. Operation Forgotten Dream. Let's go. We're tracking an errant signal from a malfunctioning advent data vault being moved on one of their transport vehicles through this area. As far as we can tell, it's carrying data files critical to the project we recently learned about. Advent is just as likely to be aware of the malfunction, but recovering that data is the only way we'll slow the progress of their operation. Neutralize all hostile targets and secure the assets. Sounds good to me. Here we go. Ah, just so exciting. So, so exciting. All right. So what do we have? We've got a bead on the advent data vault near your position. Be advised, self-detonating charges are in place at the target. 
Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Makes absolute sense. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to take our sniper, just Sean Rome. We're going to dash him over to this position here. Rolling out. So that way he can move up top and into position on this point right here eventually. And it looks like we don't have anybody in the vicinity so far, so we're going to move on up. Oh, you know what? Okay, Apollo George, yeah, he, he we, we did bring a specialist. I, di I didn't think for a moment that we brought a specialist. Good. But I wasn't 100% sure. There is no conflict. <laughs> Got it, moving. <laughs> oh, Vader. Location confirmed. And Mary Jade's gonna pop on right over here. All right. Moving to designated coordinates. Okay. And right there, because apparently there was somebody over here, which I did not see. All right, Sean Rome is into position now. I'm going to dash Paulo George up to here. Really, nobody yet. Okay, uh, Vader's gonna take point right here. Anybody? Really? Okay, um, this is semi-concerning. What is thy bidding, my master? Well, Judy Perkins is gonna go right here. Ah, uh -huh. there they are. And there they are, okay. Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna move Mary Jade right here. And hunker down. Okay, these guys are moving closer. One thing I did realize is that we do not have a Grenadier available with us at the moment. Okay, sorry about that, guys. As the uh, the uh, the guys were moving, the game crashed. So I hopefully I got something at the end of the episode there. Um, we have some options, and I think we're gonna lead it off with Sean Rome. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, Target eliminated. We're visible beautiful here. shot. Nicely done, Sean Rome, with that 75% chance. Okay. Something tells me that there's more behind the uh, vehicle there. I think I saw him during the thing there. Um, well, let's do this. Let's saber toss. Actually, you know what? Let's do a force pole. Maybe a slit saber uh, toss on the Viper. Okay, three damage. Um, trying to figure out. Moving. Uh, I can't quite reach it. I can't quite reach it. Uh, but I can see what this hack is all about. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah! <laughs> what?! Okay, that... ...was pretty fantastic. That means... Holy crap, that... That was beautiful. 
That means we can move up with Paulo. Oh, damn. This is, I mean, this is not bad. This is not bad. It's, it's not great either. I guess what we do Catch. is this with Paulo George. All right, Sean Rome's got some options here. I guess we go on the um, the Stun Lancer. No. <laughs> Nice. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Um, let's see what Force Pole is all about here. I want to see this work. Woo! Oh, and that Blade Storm. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh. Um, Let's do this. Um, let's do some shredding on the mech here. Okay. We don't have a lot of options, but we do have some. I think I'd rather go on the mech. What? Oh, we straight up killed that, didn't we? Okay, that was pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing. All right, Mara Jade. Um, go here so you're not burning. Yes. Oh, I love that. Enemy eliminated. Okay, well that worked out pretty darn well, if I do say so myself. All right, Paulo George, we need to get him into the. Excuse me, we need to get him into position here. Which lap will take a turn, so we will do. Uh, Sean Rome, we're actually going to move up top on this building here, so we're going to get him over here in a position. Vader's gonna move here. Okay. And hunk and uh hunker down. Whatever you say. Judy's gonna move here, open up the door. Moving to Overwatch. Understood. Mary J is gonna move up. And hunker down. Position. Okay, Apollo George is going to move right here and hack the chest. Now, supposedly there's more enemies. I don't know where they are at the moment, but supposedly there are. Okay, let's go for uh, let's go for this uh, research time. Oh baby, Apollo George is on it today. Wonderful. I've got access. Menace 1 5. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Alright, Sean Rome is going to move up top. And now it's a matter of letting, letting them come to us. There is. Sonic covered. In position. Possible hostile contact. Alright, there they are. <laughs> An officer and two lancers. Adjusting aim. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Sean Rome, third time's the charm, I'd say. Let's go with it. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done. Well done, my friend. Okay, saber toss. Oh, if only I could get to 
Let's move Vader up to here. Auto loader. I have you now. Let's do a force pull on the officer. <laughs> Almost killed him. Almost killed him. That force pull and blade storm combo is really evil. Like really evil. I'm going. All right, let's go on the uh, the officer here. Nice. You know that was good. All right, and I think we're gonna go for uh for the slash on the lancer up here with Mera. Ooh, tricky. You know what, we'll give Mira another chance here. There you go. Kill confirmed. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Alright, so not quite a flawless mission, but you know what? It works. I'll take it. Operation Fra I Got in Dream is in the books. And that was... That was actually really, really quick. It was really, really quick. I am, I am pleased with how that went. Very pleased. So guys, I got a question while we're headed back to base. What do Master Chief, Deadpool, Delta Squad, Lara Croft, Kendris Ordo, Iron Man, Texas and Carolina from Red vs. Blue, as well as Church, and Luke Cage have in common. That's meant to be a rhetorical question, but just think about that for a moment, will you? Just... just think on that. <laughs> one by one, we're evening up the score, Commander. Good work out there. Okay, so Mara Jade is gravely wounded, unfortunately. Even with two damage? Oh, come on. Wasn't even a crit in there. Anyways, uh, Apollo George has upgraded. I think I'm going to go combat protocol with him. Because I think he's earned it. Mara Jade. I think we're gonna go force toss with her. Kind of see the other side of the spectrum. And Sean Rome, he's earned himself as a uh, uh, a sniper. All right, continue. Beautifully done. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. All right. So yeah, dark event countered alien infiltrator. Sad face. Low on supplies. That's. That's never good. It's never really good. Alright. Can we recruit anybody? No, we cannot. Mainly because we don't have the supplies to do so. Alright. Let's go to the mission map here. Uh, yeah, I know supply drop is still available. Ooh, intel. Not right now, but let me finish this Avengers out first. New course. Okay. Finish this out. Very good. Ignore. Okay. I say we make contact down here in New India. 15 intel. For the Indian regional zone. I will take that. I will take that any day. Attempting to establish local regional contact. All right. Of course, there's Commander, another block. The aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar. Oh, Jesus. And somebody came back and healed. I don't know who that was. I didn't catch it. But we've now made contact here in New India. So the Black Site facility 
Uh, mission is unlocked now. That way we can go get it. We can go do it. New objective added. All right. Commander, we've established contact with the local resistance, and we can move on the advent black site on your order. We should make sure our troops are fully equipped and ready for a tough mission. I'm guessing security will be tight at the facility. I'm keeping tabs on all our operations, Commander. Our people are standing by for your orders. All right, Iris Corona is now up. Uh, now our one of our newest uh, sharpshooters, and it's time to get somebody else into the uh, the um, the thing down below. <laughs> the thing. Um, let's go to our list here on the YouTubes. Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. We could do Henry Phillips. Ooh, a Grenadier. Actually, we need some Grenadier still. So yeah, let's go with that. Let's do uh, Henry Phillips with the Grenadier. We're going to Tactics School. Henry Phillips. Grenadier training. There we go. New combat tactics. Can we buy anything? No, we cannot. That's right, because we are still out of money. Uh, such is life in an early game with XCOM 2. Not think uh, I could have predicted yes. this outcome, though it is intriguing. Yes, plated armor. And uh, the new projects um, unlocked of the EXO suit and the spider suit, as well as uh, new research available for the Illyrium. Very good. Okay. Now, from here... You know, if memory serves from the lightsaber mod that we have, I think Stun Lancers would be the next place to go. Yeah. I'm not really worried about psionics, though they might have stuff that allow... Ah, I'm gonna do the autopsy. The Advent Stun Lancer was apparently outfitted with the intention of serving as a civilian peacekeeping unit within the city centers. Although they are equipped with weapons capable of administering non-lethal blows, recent reports indicate an increasingly aggressive stance taken by these units. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. Alright. So that should go Working pretty fast. The tight constraints of the Avenger, I've had a difficult time finding room to... Oops. Sorry, Bat... Tygen. Oh, goody. Retaliation mission. Fun stuff, fun stuff. Operation Flying Beast. I know what we're doing Heading next episode. For sector 14, East Asia. I know exactly what we're doing. This is not going to be uh, probably our troop stuff, but I know exactly what we're doing. But for that matter, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. Please feel free to Hulk smash that like button. Come in the comment section below if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe. And as always, may the Force be ever in your face.